News. The National Early Warning Score. This was launched in 2012 and developed in response to a number of national inquiries into patient deaths in hospitals. And these identified the need for early detection to improve patient outcomes and the importance of having some sort of early warning score system. That's why we developed the news. Now, it's national because it's important to have a single system that is standardized across the NHS. So that we're all speaking the same language, we're all using the same system for education and training, and we understand what it means when we move between organizations. The news is simple. It's based on the six basic physiological parameters that we normally measure in hospital. That is pulse rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, oxygen levels, temperature, and conscious level. When we become ill, these begin to vary. And it's the variation from the norm that we allocate a score to, which is very simple to record, and the aggregate of that score gives you a very accurate measure of illness severity. And we use that as a basis for triaging the response to patients. More recently, this year, we've updated the news and introduced news too, with three new elements. The basic system is the same. We've simply enhanced it and improved it. And these are, we've added new confusion as a scoring parameter because we know that when somebody becomes acutely confused when they're ill, this is a very powerful sign of clinical deterioration. We've improved the safety of oxygen prescribing by providing a dedicated chart for patients with type two respiratory failure and COPD. And importantly, we've recognized that a threshold score of five for news in patients who might be septic because they have an infection or at risk of infection should make us all think, is this sepsis? If you have somebody at risk of sepsis with a score of five, think, is this sepsis? We think this will greatly increase the early detection of sepsis, which is so important in improving the outcome of these patients. Now, who should be using news? Well, basically anybody who's making measurements of these physiological parameters in the system. And for training, it's very easy. We've created a really good online training module which you can access from the Royal College of Physicians website or simply by Googling the National Early Warning Score, you'll find it there. And it's a half hour simple module after which you get accreditation in the news. News has now been endorsed by NHS England, the National Quality Board, NHS Improvement as the early warning score system for use across the system. In addition, news is mandated for use in acute hospitals and by acute ambulance trusts. We'd like to see it used across the entire system because we're already seeing early examples of where news is used extensively. Reductions in hospital mortality, which are very significant, and also reductions in cardiac arrest rates. There seems little doubt, but the implementation of a national early warning score will make our hospitals safer, will detect acute illness deterioration faster, will respond faster, and improve the likelihood that our patients will survive from acute illness. That is the purpose of news. Thank you.